Hey, what's going on guys? Fred Stay Cup here. So we're back again with another video and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about this device right here, the Infinix Note 8i. This device was announced alongside the Infinix Note 8 and it shares basically the same specification like the standard Note 8, but it comes in at a very reduced rate. So I see no reasons why you should go ahead and buy the Note 8 when this device exists. So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and review it, give you guys my thoughts, what I think about this device and give you reasons why you should consider buying this instead of the standard Note 8. But you know what guys, if you haven't already, please kindly smash that subscribe button to join this awesome family and be sure to turn on that post notification so you get alerted whenever I upload a new video. So without wasting much of your time, let's jump in and talk about this device. When it came out, I didn't have the time to review it for some reasons and here we are today, I'm bringing you my full review on this device and reasons why you should consider this device instead of the Note 8 and save yourself some pocket change. So starting off with the design, the standard Infinix Note 8 feels way better and feels a lot more like a premium device than the Infinix Note 8i. But the Note 8i isn't too far off. Both devices are made of plastic, but I realize that the Note 8 scratches easily than the Note 8i. I also like the compact design of the Note 8i. In this particular situation, it is quite subjective. Your preference might differ. As for me, I lean towards the more compact device. The Infinix Note 8i also has this diamond pattern at the rear that looks rather cool in a way. There's a lot going on here. I hope you'll be able to appreciate the design Infinix was going here. Build quality is similar on both devices, so choosing a Note 8i shouldn't weigh your buying decision down. Okay, so on the right hand side of the device, we've got the power button that serves as the fingerprint scanner and the volume rocker keys. To the left, we've got a SIM tray that can take dual nano SIM and a micro SD card. At the bottom, we've got a headphone jack, a microphone, a USB Type-C charging port and the speaker grill. At the rear, it houses a quad camera setup, a quad flash, some AI branding and the Infinix branding. The front of the device houses a 6.78 inch HD Plus display that is capped at 720 by 1640 resolution and it has a pixel density of 264. The display is bright enough for an average user at 418 nits of peak brightness. It is what you expect from most low end to mid range devices. Watching YouTube videos, browsing the web, and consuming media content is really enjoyable on this device due to the almost zero distraction on the punch hole camera. Speaking of the punch hole, it houses an 8 megapixel selfie camera. The standard Note 8 has a similar screen resolution and if you keep them side by side, the Note 8i looks a bit better. The contrast is more prominent on the Note 8i and it looks richer in colors a little bit more. Speaking of more, do you know what else offers more? Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and aspiring people who want to explore new skills and expand their creative idea. If you want to learn more about web development, graphics design, photography, film and video production, and more, I feel like Skillshare is the right place for you. There are a number of classes that have been undergoing on filmmaking and videography, and they've widened my knowledge more than ever. I didn't know so much about video editing with Premiere Pro, but ever since I started learning Premiere Pro basics from Benjamin Ortega, a lot has changed about me when it comes to video editing with Premiere Pro. I also learned a lot from Peter BVC still on video editing with Premiere Pro and I'm loving the whole experience so far. Skillshare is designed to keep you focused on whatsoever you're learning so it is strictly ads free. New premium classes are always updated regularly to always keep you updated. With Skillshare you can learn how to express your creativity and take your creative journey to a whole new level. It is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. What could be more better than that? But for my subscribers, the first 1000 of you to click on the link in the description get a free trial or premium membership with full access to all the created classes. Make sure to check the link in the description. Now let's move ahead with the review. If you're here to see what comes in the box, here we go. We've got the device itself, a 10 watt charger that is quite sad, a USB Type-C charging cable, the earpiece, the SIM ejector tool, a film screen protector, a transparent silicon case and some paper works. Now let's talk performance. The Infinix Note 8i comes with almost the same specification as the standard Note 8. A MediaTek Helio G80 processor. RAM is where it is distributed based on price. My unit here comes with 4 gigs of RAM and a 64 gigabyte of internal storage, which I feel is more than enough for an average user. 
The processor is powerful enough to handle most tasks that you throw at it. Gaming is very impressive on it and battery management is excellent too. The most drawback has to be the Bluetooth and art. Other than that, the Note 8i is super impressive, especially when you factor in the price. If you're a heavy user that doesn't want to pay more, the Note 8i will serve you well and you'll be happy with your purchase, as long as you can disable all the Bluetooth. <laughs> the side-mounted fingerprint scanner is fast and responsive all the time. I don't use face unlock on my Android smartphone because someone else can easily unlock your device, so I stick with just fingerprint scanner only and I will advise you to do the same. Face unlock on Android device offers the worst implementation ever. So moving on to the battery aspect, this is where the Infinix Note 8i shines and brights like a diamond. The 5200mAh battery can take you for a full day if you're a heavy user and will take an average user up to two days on a single charge, which I feel it is more than impressive. The little downside about the Note 8i is the lack of fast charger out of the box, but that can be easily forgiven because the Note 8i supports fast charging, so if you have any fast charger lying around, that should do the trick as well. Moving on to the camera aspect, the Infinix Note 8i comes with a 48 megapixels main sensor, a 2 megapixels depth sensor, another 2 megapixels macro lens, and another 2 megapixels camera for low light detection. So this is where it looks like the Infinix Note 8 looks better than the Note 8i. The difference between the two devices here is a 64 megapixels camera on the Note 8 and the 48 megapixels camera on the Infinix Note 8i. Okay, so listen to this. None of these smartphones comes with a 64 megapixel sensor or a through 48 megapixel sensor. What they come with is what we call bin sensors. So what this does is that a 64 megapixel sensor is actually a 16 megapixel sensor. So it takes four 16 megapixels images and combines it into one, giving you one 64 megapixels output. Same thing is applicable to the 48 megapixel sensor. It takes four 12 megapixels images and combines it into one, giving you one 48 megapixels single output. So in real sense, or by default, these two devices shoot in 12 megapixels and 16 megapixels mode. Or in real sense, we can technically say that the Infinix Note 8 comes with a 16 megapixel sensor, while the Note 8i comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. So if you want the high megapixels count, they have a dedicated mode where you can switch to 64 and 48 megapixels mode respectively. So when it comes to images on both devices, I do not really see much difference unless you switch to their respective high megapixels count. But even at that, there's no much difference between the two. Okay, so about the image quality on this phone, I would say it is decent enough for a mid-range device and it will satisfy an average user. Images coming out of it are impressive, especially on good lighting conditions. The images are sharp with good amount of details and high dynamic range works well in some scenes. High dynamic range could need little improvement via software updates, but in most cases it gets the job done. Skin tone looks good and I like the fact that it is not too oversaturated. Images taken at night can only be usable when the flashlight is on, other than that, Mm, just forget it. Selfie on the other hand is decent, it has some details to it, shots and colors looks nice. Sometimes the background is blown away in some images but the overall image looks nice. The rear camera shoots video in 2K resolution at 30 frames per second and the footage looks ok even though it lacks video stabilization. Overall, it is ok at least for a budget device. So guys, so this is the front video camera test on the Infinix Note 8i. I'm currently shooting indoors and I have good lighting here. It looks okay. It's good. I like it. So it shoots in 2K at 30 frames per second. For the most part, I think it's okay. But you know what? You guys should be the final judge here as usual. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. So in conclusion, as you can see here, the Note 8 is not far off from the Note 8i. The Note 8i looks like a great bargain for what it retails at, especially when it compared to its bigger brother, the Note 8. So for me, I do not really see any need anybody should treat the Note 8i as a second class device as when compared to the Infinix Note 8. It is a much better device for the price and I would advise anybody who wants to save some pocket change to go for the Note 8i instead of opting for the Note 8. 
The same amount of memory and storage can be had on both devices and above all the processor is decent. It can handle your basic tasks with ease, your daily activities and everything runs smoothly. But you know what guys, those are my own thoughts, what I think about the Infinix Note 8i. You can just decide to share your own thoughts with me down in the comment section below. Okay, a huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.